It's another movie review and today it's about the movie Fast X. We know it's all about family when we think of anything Fast and Furious. But is this a movie a must watch? Yeah, they haven't failed to impress the viewers still. In my opinion, it was an absolute cinematic experience and... They tried to tune down the notch on the unrealistic expectations in this franchise, which was greatly appreciated. I mean a notch, not all the way down. Now, let's talk about JC Momoa, who has recently been added to this franchise. JC Momoa played the villain Dante Reyes. This man made the movie 10,000 times interesting. And I must say, he stole the show and him playing the villain made it better to see. His flamboyant acting was just the icing on the cake. He ate and left no crumbs to be honest. He's what I picture a Gen Z villain to be. Diabolical, unserious and very unapologetic. No. Listen to me. And then he was like, boom. And I was like, blam. And she was like, what? And I was like, shut up. And now I'm the best racer in the world. So, do not touch that. Let it dry. You guys are fantastic. But I need to ask, if you guys have noticed, all the villains in this movie have become a part of the family. Are they not trying to turn this franchise into an orphanage home? I'm just saying, let villains be villains. Now, from the very first scene, Fast X wastes no time in plunging viewers into a world of intense vehicular stunts and heart-pounding sequences. They just really said, hey guys, no green screen, what you see is what you get but there was one part i was like hey now what's going on here <laughs> 2025 here we go of jason momoa who played dan terrius well that's all i have for you on this movie review until next time do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you